even, they should not even be considered polytechnics because there are many other polytechnics that are much better than them. So we have identified transformative leaders within that uh, sector and with all humility we are transferring new people to go and give new life. Even me, I was a headmaster of University of Nairobi for 10 years. Beyond that, it requires that even if you are good, you go to another one. So my plea, it is gentle for now, but government does not plead all the time, is that if you have been transferred to another government institution, kindly hand over to the person that has come and move on unless you have been told otherwise by my most humble self. We are human beings, we are not animals. If you refuse to move, it means there is something you are doing there that you do not want the government to know. And the government will act. So let me not hear, Dr. Juan, do you want to retire? Do you want to retire? Let, let me not hear. We shall treat all of them with humility, and treat every case on its own basis. But people must move. For example, those national polytechnics that look like pigsty must be brought very quickly within the next six months to look like what His Excellency the President wants. There is money, and that money must be used for what we want to. Are we together here? The second one is even more difficult. In his wisdom, His Excellency the President decreed that we should be given money, 1.9 billion shillings, for desks and chairs for our children in primary and secondary schools. This is a COVID period and it's a stimulus package. So I wonder when very important people in the media start asking, or do children need desks? We already agreed that it, is, it may be important for us to even have classes outside. I myself went to no other primary school than Gatundu Primary School at one time when I was inspecting Standard 4. And I found that class had a shortage of almost 100 desks. So those people who sit behind desks or big offices and ask questions, please be fair to us. Children need desks, and those desks shall be manufactured. Now, my point is, first of all, I think, Dr. Kipsang, we have agreed that we extend the, the, the time for the Juakali people to have access. Is it uh, already in the press? Until Friday. So we will allow more Jokwale people to have access. His Excellency the President led the way by going to ensure that Jokwale people who are going to bid for this contract have got the capacity to provide. I have followed suit by going to so many other regions in the country, and I'm going to continue during this week. There is no law which stops us from ensuring that we ensure that the Juakali people have capacity to deliver these desks. These desks are not supposed to be going to a contractor who is rich, who will take the money and live in the bank. Therefore, government has decided that the desks shall go to the sub-counties. And there is a committee in the sub-county chaired by the sub-county commissioner, secretary by the sub-county director of education, and other government people. We have said in the past that rather than thinking that we want to steal this money, we have said in the past that we shall select at least 15 schools in every sub-county. And if there are less, we shall take all the schools. The balance will be distributed. And if we take uh, Kakamega, for example, which I toured on Saturday. Kakamega has 416 secondary schools. And the ones that will benefit 
235. We have also said that every ward must get, but there is a catch because there must be a registered school. And in Kakamega, I've been told that there is one ward without a registered school. So those unregistered schools are not schools, and they shall not get these desks. The high schools, having been chosen properly, will get 50 desks, and the primary schools will get 70 desks. We, as the ministry people, together with the Ministry of Interior, will ensure that this money goes directly to the Juakali people. For example, in Homer Bay, where we have a total of 335, 333 secondary schools, 152 of them will benefit. They'll get a total of about 29 million shillings. In Kakamega, they will get 44 million shillings for the high school. But the point is this will be scattered to the sub-counties. Which part of this explanation is so difficult that we cannot understand and tell our people? I want to assure the nation that the scandal that the media is, is planning to create around these desks <laughs> shall not take place when I am Cabinet Secretary for Education. And you can take that to the bank. You can create it to sell your papers, but it shall not happen. We shall make sure that the desks are made and they go to where they are supposed to be. And in terms of pricing, ladies and gentlemen, we went through the Yokali sector, both in Nyeri and in Nairobi and elsewhere, and we came with a competitive price, which you can go and check. 3,800 shillings for the high school and 2,500 shillings for the primary school. Why do you think this money is going to be stolen? For who and, by who and for what? By who and for what? I am aware that there are mandarins who are trying to manufacture these chairs in the back room in the hope that they will go and seduce the Yokali people. We are going to inspect the Yokali because there are many sheds. Many of them will not benefit. The ones that will benefit are the ones that have capacity to make these desks. And I want to rest my case there. I hope this is as clear as it can be. Beyond that, you can write what you want. <laughs> now, Today we have met here with these uh, large stakeholders. I can see uh, the, the ones I, refuse, I, I forgot to mention, the church, very strongly represented here by all the churches and all the faiths. Dr. Macharia has already mentioned to you that we have agreed. It is not Magoa, son of Magoa. I have no powers. Whatever, I'm the spokesperson for these people. So what she has mentioned to you is true. We are going to say that uh, the teachers can come latest Monday next week. If you love your school and you live near there, that's fine. Because of the localization, if you are still far, if you arrive on, on Monday, it is, uh, it is still fine. If you arrive on the 28th, as uh, the last day, it's, it, it, it is still fine. We want the schools to be habitable. We have been visiting them. Most of them are in very good state. Uh, grass is uncut. Choir is cleaning. There are a few schools that have been damaged. I was at uh, Kandaria while Lebelio was in Baringo, and uh, my director of secondary was somewhere in Budalangi, and another director was somewhere in Migori. We have been to the schools that have issues. The point that you must take home is that all children who belong to those schools have been placed in other schools as we wait to deal with those schools. So let it not be a center of conversation for 10 years. Are we together? We have also discussed other relevant issues the one that I am empowered to tell you today is only one, apart from the teachers, and that those people in universities in the final year who are about to graduate but they can't finish their exams because they have sciences 
and they must go physically and do their science practicals, can go ahead and do so, bearing in mind the strict COVID protocols. So that if you are planning to graduate in December and you want to graduate everybody, we, we already allowed the doctors to do so, but we are now allowing again all the science-based groups to do so. In terms of the tertiary colleges, the mid-level and tertiary colleges, we are waiting the larger stakeholders, which will be any time between today and 28th, to concur with what we have decided. And we are going to encourage them to open with the, with the ones which had uh, examination classes first, and then they manage it from there. But I'm more focused on the teacher training colleges because we require the teacher training colleges to open soon so that they clear the students, train the teachers in time for the CBC teacher trainees, which we hope to admit in May. Now, don't go and report that I have said that the teacher training colleges are opening in these days. I don't have that power to do so. This committee report is going to another bigger committee. In terms of the basic education, which is where you have become the experts. You are telling me what we are doing. You are telling me what we are doing. But I want to tell you that this morning, we have agreed on a timetable, which you will only get if you are corrupt and you should not be alive. <laughs> because the right person to give that information is not even myself. I will take the recommendations to the larger committee and the larger committee will look at it, and if they agree, then we shall send it for concurrence to the person who will then announce to you when the schools will reopen. If that power is delegated to me, which has not been, then at that time I will summon these people and we shall come and tell you the details. So anything else you see or hear or print is a rumor. And I have charged my people here. Dr. Sarah Ruto, yes, sir. security of your office and your computers, so that uh, you don't have people snooping there. When I love, you even change the law. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen that, that, that's where we are and I don't know whether to allow you to ask a question but if you have any relevant question as regarding as it pertains to what I have talked about if it is about anything else again uh, in matters of BOM teachers not to preempt you BOM teachers have been paid the money went to the various sub-counties, and they should have been, they're born a fight. And the BM teacher is described as follows. A teacher trained in Kenya or elsewhere, but registered in Kenya as a teacher, with a teacher's service commission number, and employed by the Board of Management to teach our children. All such people should have been paid by now. So don't ask that one, I've already answered you. Is there any other one? Asante sana. Namunga wa namunga. Eh? There's one. Yeah, but still, even if you're a yellow lady, you still say, where? First one, I think you know the answer. The second one, <laughs> I want to refer you to our constitution. 
primary schools, primary education in Kenya is compulsory and free. Which one of those don't you understand? If you as Chemutai going chooses to take your child to a private school, then you will look for the fee to pay. If you have no fee, come back to the public school. We shall take your child. It is free and compulsory. And the government of His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta will, has ordered that we should have 100% transition. So every child is at school. Sendio, as far as secondary schools are concerned, again, without any fear of contradiction, 70, close to 75% of our schools are, are day schools. Are we together? Day schools are also they are also free, in case you don't know. The boarding schools, the tuition part of the boarding school is also free. So we, the only fee that the parents pay is what the children consume in the house. Are we together here? And my teachers are not animals. They are ready to listen to those parents, as His Excellency the President has directed, that we should treat every case as it comes. Where is the problem? Where is the problem? Oh, and on the issue of, uh, first of all, look at me very well. Do I look like a minister for public education? <laughs> or am I a minister for education? <laughs> I'm a cabinet secretary for education. And what I have said also appertains to the private schools. In fact, if private schools were to open on their own, they would have opened earlier. But it is because His Excellency the President loves the poor children. He said they must open together. So as we have said, they can start reporting from today. Go around and we'll find quite a number of them will have their teachers at school. But we have not said schools are opening. I am sure some of the headlines will say that schools are opening now. <laughs> Yeah, but the date you chose is a wrong date. <laughs> Whoever gave you the information is speculative. We shall give you dates after appropriate government machinery has gone through. I think it is about time uh, to call our children back to school. There was another hand or that's all? Thank you. Yes? Oh, hey, bah, mask one, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Let me explain to you in simple English. <laughs> Dr. Nancy Macharia had said they are coming to prepare schools for a possible reopening at whatever time. Which part of that English don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>